Hello everyone and welcome back to the Perfect Genetics Challenge and Gabby is getting the uh, the hardness of motherhood just uh, put into her so quickly. She is uh, up in the middle of the night at 5am and she is dealing with a screaming Jax. Jax has been screaming his head off. She's trying everything she possibly can to sell him. She's actually been really, really good snuggling him, playing with him and just generally trying to make him settled because she's desperate to go back to sleep because she's still <laughs> really tired. She wants to throw a birthday party for Jax so that's something we could possibly do. And the triplets do age up today so let's put Jax uh, back in the, the crib. The triplets age up today so we definitely want to have a party for them because I want to see what they look like when they grow up. I'm so so excited to see them as teenagers. I think that would be a lot of fun. What are you up to tramp? Your destruction is bad. Who is this random? Who is this random guy in a kilt and a top just chilling out in our house? It's probably some paparazzi kind of person. How you managed to get in the gates, I do not know. Well, they are open, <laughs> so that's why. So um, as for Emma and Chad, they are in bed currently. Chad has got work in the morning and Emma has a want that she wants to see Gabby graduate. So she's told Gabby that she has to go to school today. So hopefully Gabby can get a decent amount of sleep that uh, she... Uh, hopefully you're going to the toilet, Belle. Hopefully. And she can get a decent amount of sleep so she can go to school. Emma has said she will look after Jax. So grudgingly, as we know with Emma, she's not exactly relishing <laughs> the opportunity to look after him. But uh, she will do that nonetheless to allow Gabby to get to school. So pretty much that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the triplets ready, Gabby ready and everybody else ready for school. And uh, we will get them out. And what I'll do is I'll pick up later on in the afternoon whenever they are due to come home. And Chad has got a want to become become best friends with Gabby again so I think he is wanting to repair the damage that he caused I think Gabby was very very angry and unhappy at him at the way that he treated Johnny and it looks like Johnny was a few days older than Gabby because now he looks like he's uh, aged up uh, somewhat so she's uh, shooing Tramp off her bed but Tramp's obviously just coming to try and make her feel a bit better so can you not uh, can you not no, she's like, come on, move. <laughs> get out of my face. Get out of my bed. Okay. She's like, do you not realise I have no time to sleep? So it's Seth's birthday, Cammy's birthday and Millie's birthday. So like I say, I'm going to fast forward and uh, we will get to the afternoon. Alrighty, so Emma has been at home all day with Mr. Jax and she's actually been doing it quite well looking after him. Like she's went to see him and stuff like that when he's needed it. And she sat in this room to work on her book just so she can look after him. So she's been doing it well. And it looks like Max is coming home with Gabby after school, which is quite cool. And also Emma finished her book, Missing Anna Maison, and she'll receive six royalty payments of 388 simoleons. And uh, uh, she has now got a promotion to tabloid uh, typist. Chad has an opportunity to illegally take money out of the political campaign. Will he do it? No. No, 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 no. That is not our Chad. Even though he is stressed to on beyond belief, uh, he wouldn't do that for sure. So, uh, yeah, so we're just getting Emma. Although she's got the dislikes children mood. She's like, oh, don't like this at all. But uh, she's dealing with that just now. I'm going to pop Jax back in the crib. And so that when Gabby comes home, she can be the one to feed him. Um, archaeology exhibit. Deliver a common relic from Egypt or China to earn some money. So no, we're not going to not going to do that and Chad has been promoted so Chad's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to mayor so he is now the mayor of the town so perhaps with him being elected I don't know if the scandal if you like has uh, came out about Gabby yet but he's mayor now so they can't really do anything uh, much about it now let's go ahead now we did set up this outside area and it is raining 
<laughs> which would be always the way but we've got a candy flush machine a bar and we've also got the cakes i also noticed that in our family inventory we had a car so we've got that car so whenever the uh, triplets age up it'll be good for us because we'll get to go ahead and um like teach them how to drive and things like that because we've not had a chance to really do that uh with gabby so we're going to get her to go and give um our lovely little jacks a bottle now, some rumours have been spreading around town that Millie Luck has peed in herself. Poor Millie. It looks like Seth and Millie have got on the honour roll, which is quite cool. So they're on the honour roll. Uh, Cammy's also on the honour roll. Brilliant. So our triplets did manage to make it on the honour roll and here is Max. So can we possibly like show Max the baby? So could we possibly do that? I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll go and coo over children. Let's see if we can take if we can take Jax to speak to Max. Then that would be quite quite cute. So let's do this. Now I am recording this back to back from the last part. So if you guys have mentioned anything or any suggestions or anything like that, then I'm not ignoring them. It's just I haven't read them yet because they're in the future. So can we um ask about his day? So she is holding him, so that's quite cute. And it looks like Daddy is coming in. He no, no, mm -mm, this isn't happening. <laughs> were they coming in here to woohoo? I think they were. I think they were. And look at his face. He's like, seriously, people, seriously, you want to do this now? Yes, yes, they do, they do. But they can't get past him, so he's kind of cock blocking Chad at the moment. Don't all move out the way. Don't all do this, because this is just wrong. This is just wrong. Okay, so they're going out, so that's good. So she, Gabby, is going to um, pop Jax in the crib, and she was going to sleep, and so she's so tired, so she's going to sleep for a bit so that she can get her uh, her, her thing up. And it definitely looks like they're going to woohoo regardless. Yep, they've got the woohoo mood. Look, where they're going to woohoo, I don't really know, since they're going outside the woohoo. Emma, where are you? You really should be phoning and sorting out this party rather than woohooing. So, <laughs> looks like it's not going to happen. Right, can we, can we get you up then and you can throw the party? <laughs> can't believe they're woohooing. It's like, calm down people. I think to be honest, she's just trying to make him feel a bit, uh, a wee bit better. So let's throw a party for our kids and then you can go back to sleep. We'll throw a party for the triplets. I think they're just woohooing. I don't think they're actually trying for a baby, so that's fine. Jax is fine. He is pretty tired, so that's fine. So let's do a birthday party. And we'll do it for five. We'll do casual attire. And Max is already here. Would she invite Johnny over? I don't think she would because she knows things are tense just now. So we'll invite Max, although he's always here anyway, but we'll invite him. Angel Barlow is Chad's good friend. But, I mean, Chad's got friends at work, but it's really strange because we don't know any of them. We'll invite Casey over. And Chad is obviously going to be on it because he's the dad. Um, oh, no, that's the other Chad, isn't it? Mercedes, we'll invite Mercedes. And where's Isaac? Let's invite Uncle Isaac over. But I think we'll leave Johnny out the equation for now. Just for now. Just for now. I think that that would be the the best thing to uh, to do. So, Gabby, off you go to sleep, honey. Get the sleep while you can. What about you two horny, horny dogs? They're like, we are kind of horny. Yeah, they're just going to woohoo. So, they're not auto trying for a baby. So that is uh, perfectly, perfectly fine. So Seth, come out and get yourself some cotton a candy. And uh, why don't you come out here and get yourself some uh, spaghetti. Cammy, what can you do, darling? You're not really hungry or anything like that. You can come and uh, talk to Tramp. You can come and do that. That would be good. Chad just enjoyed a woohoo with Emma Luck. Indeed, he did. Indeed he did. So those two are quite happy. She does need to go to the toilet. She's going to go and use that. And uh, it looks like he's going to give her a hug. 
They are super cute together, to be fair. They are really cute together. I'm going to go and get Chad to uh, make some quick drinks. I wish it wasn't raining so much outside, because that does kind of suck. It does really suck how it is raining outside, but never mind. So the first guest has arrived, so that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Cammy to blow out the candles. Going to get him to do it, first of all. I feel like they deserve a proper birthday, and Chad has been so embarrassing <laughs> and going outside in his uh, dragon his dragon boxers. So I'm going to get Gabby up because it's definitely something. She would want to see her uh, her family age up. So Cammy is first. First and foremost is Mr. Cammy. I'm excited to see them age up, guys. I am. I'm excited. Okay. Okay, we can choose his traits. Okay, so he's artistic, heavy sleeper, star quality. And you guys were saying, Laura, just choose his traits because he is going to be the uh, final year. What would it do? Inappropriate, no. Shy, no. Lona, no. Hot-headed, no. Nurturing, yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, and it looks like he is a cutie patootie. So next up then, if we do, where's Millie? Millie's celebrating at her brother's birthday. So let's go ahead and blow out. Blow out candles, Millie Luck. So it's now Millie's turn. It's like a triple party. And then of course we will go in and do like makeovers and whatnot. Okay, Millie, my little darling, time for you to blow out the candles. She's like, okay, I'm going to blow them out. Just give me a second. She's going to be adorable. I know it. I feel it in my bones because Emma and Chad make gorgeous kids. Right. Can we Can we do this? Can we age up? There we go. So let's choose a trait for Millie. Loves to swim, easily impressed, perceptive and a dog person. It totally makes sense. Let's go ahead and get her to uh, to do that. She's got cheekbones for days. And what's happening here? Why did it all... Oh, it's the llama. It's the llama. We don't really care about you, llama. We don't. We don't give two tots... Oh, two tots? Two shakes of a lamb's tail about you. And we will get Seth to come and uh, blow out his candles now. And then we'll get on with the makeovers and we'll see what we have. There's a lot of uh, blowing of trumpets. There's a lot of blowing of trumpets going on. Are you not coming to blow out your candles? Hopefully I'm not going to have problems with Seth. Hopefully not. I can't remember if it was Seth. I can't remember who it was that I was having problems with. I can't remember if it was Seth. Right, can you go here then, Seth? Can you go here, please? Seth, 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 please. Seth, come on. Stop being a buttock. Go over here. All right, okay. Right, let's try it again. Blow it candle. Seth. Seth is having a birthday party. Come one, come all. I may have just got confused because of obviously everyone else was having birthdays, so. I think we'll be all right. I think we might be all right. And Gabby is aging up tomorrow, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to age her up just now, because um, I'm going to let the triplets have their their day, and I'll age Gabby up and Jack's up in the next part. I think Seth, grumpy, virtuoso, loves cold and flirty. Makes sense, because Chad is flirty. Oh, right then. So, let's go ahead and we will age them up. Let's do Cammy first, because he is her ear. Let's go ahead and uh, see what he looks like. So, oops, no, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Basic, oh, for goodness sake, Laura, come on, get a grip. Advanced, edit and cast. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what Cammy looks like. And of course, we'll do the whole makeover and cutting out and cutting in and all that jazz. All right, what have we got? He is handsome. Yes, you are pretty perfect. That hairstyle is a disaster. However, we will sort that out. And uh, yes, 
So, um, okay. What do we want to do for your hair, darling? Let's have a look. He's so handsome. Okay, so I'm going to... He has big enough lashes. He has just really... He's got really nice features. I do love him. He's super cute. Right, what do we want to do for your hair? Because you obviously... You have... Okay, no. No. Not that hair. Not that hair. And we don't want to go with that hair either. Somebody did say to me that uh, everybody's got a personality apart from... Um, apart from him, but he will get a personality, just just wait until his teenage years, we'll see what kind of teenager he uh, he will become. So obviously it's a bit more difficult with his hair colour to get a hairstyle that doesn't look uh, daft, so we'll need to kind of play about with it. I might end up having to go and get some more CC, <clears throat> excuse me guys, just so that I can see, that's quite cute, that suits him. That gives him a kind of, I don't know what kind of vibe that gives him, but I do sort of like that in him. I like it because you can see the kind of whites on the end and things. Yes, I like that a lot. But let's see if there's anything in the hat section. I can maybe do that. Uh, I'm sure I downloaded hairs, but I may have just downloaded toddler hairs, not actually adult male hairs. That could be the only problem that we face. That's quite nice. That's quite cute. What about this one? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Um, we could make him like crazy, but to be honest, I think Seth would have that. If anybody would have that, that would be Seth. <laughs> if anybody would have hair like that, that would be Seth. No, absolutely freaking not. Okay, yeah, so I think we're going to go with that one that we saw gonna go ahead and get that one I think that one would be the sort of best one for him at the moment but we can change it but this is a kind of free loving teenage type hair I think so I'm going to go and do his makeover of his clothes because this is horrendous and uh, I will be right back Alrighty guys and here is Mr. Kami. So I put an earring in him because I thought it looked quite bad boy and uh, this is just his outfit. Very cool, very casual with kind of cargo pants, uh, converse and he's, he's kind of long sleeve top with his watch. Just very cool and casual with his formal wear which will obviously be his prom wear. Just put him in a really nice suit, really nice tux. For his sleepwear he's just got, you know, simple shirt and you know boxers athletic wear I've put him in something a little bit more colorful you know with the blues and things like that he tends to stick to blues and greens and things like that for his kind of color palette as his swimwear and for his outerwear he has got um this so to remind you of his personality he's artistic heavy sleeper nurturing and star uh, quality his favorites are turquoise his musical favorite music is digi tunes and peanut butter and jelly sandwich is his favorite food and his voice yeah, is so that one which is cute so let's go and grab one of the other triplets Alrighty, and here is our Millie, and uh, what an outfit, <laughs> what an outfit. So what does she look like? She is pretty. We need to change up those eyebrows, but facially she is extremely pretty. I don't know if we'd say she's like her mum, but she definitely has her mum's eyes, which is super cute. So we will change up her brows. I think that's the only thing. We don't touch the face, that's something that I don't do, but we will change her eyebrows because her eyebrows are just a little bit on the uh, thin side but obviously it depends on what kind of eyebrow shape she has whenever we we take this uh, kind of away. Now I think there's something happening in my town at the moment because I can hear a lot of um I don't know if it's, I'm always confused between fire engines and ambulances and stuff. I can't ever quite tell uh, what they are. I don't really know what to do with her eyebrow shape, actually. I think we're going to go with this one. It does seem a bit high, but let's um, match uh, root colour. Let's make them a little bit, uh, 
Not them too dark, right. So they're a bit high, but I think they're cute. And once we change the hair, it probably will uh, look a lot better. So yeah, so if you hear ambulances or if you hear any sort of sirens in the background, then you know uh, why. Right, so for your hair, sweetheart, what will we do for your um, hair? Hair. So we did download a number of hairs. I haven't used this one in particular, but obviously we are keeping our uh, Millie not girly. I'm trying my best <laughs> not to make her overly girly. So this may be a nice compromise. It's kind of not much effort has been made. It's just kind of back. She's took it out her face. So it's like she's kind of trying a little bit. She's trying to make herself more um, feminine, if you like. Because she'll look at Gabby and Gabby's like so glam and stuff. Although obviously, you know, Gabby's had the baby and whatnot. She's still quite glam. And uh, her mum's glam and things. So, you know, as teenagers you are, you do struggle to find yourself, or I know I certainly did. And uh, you look at those around you and you try and see if you can sort of be like them or whatever until you really find your own way. So to me, this may be her giving her attempt because you can see the curl beads and you can see the crossover of the hair. So, yeah, I think we will do that for her hair. It's the only one I can really see here that would be appropriate for her um possibly this one actually this may be the only other one that I think would be a little bit different for her but again it's kind of looks as if it's been styled quite a bit Does, is what I'm saying making sense let me know in the comments down below if I'm making any sense to you but I'm going to go ahead and do our makeover because I'm conscious of the time and I'll be right back Alrighty guys and here is Millie and I went with that hairstyle because my other thinking with this hairstyle was the fact that Millie had short hair whenever she was a child and it's just not going to magically grow super duper long but what I want to do with these teens is probably about halfway through them being teens is kind of change up their hair and their style a little bit as you would because you don't what you are at 13 isn't what you are at 18 so um just kind of change up their look a little bit she's got no makeup up on at the moment this is her everyday outfit for her formal wear she's disgusted that she has to wear a dress but if she's going to wear a dress she's going to wear it her way so she's wearing this sort of uh, polka dot and black type dress with some boots and uh, they have a heel on them which she's horrified with this is her sleepwear everything sucks uh, t-shirt her athletic wear is just um, this number which I think is pretty cute those pink Converse are probably the girliest thing that she owns. For her swimwear, we are uh, doing this. I actually didn't mean to have those, uh, I didn't mean to have them on. Obviously, when she's scuba diving and things like that, she changes into a scuba suit anyway. So I just thought there was no need to kind of do that with her. And this is her um, outer wear. So that is Millie. So last but certainly not least, I'm going to go and grab Seth and bring him in to create a sim. Alrighty guys, so here is Seth and Seth has got um, very strong features. He's got a very strong jawline, nose and uh, things like that. I think the pigtails are kind of doing him a disservice. <laughs> So I think we will go ahead and change up his hair a little bit. I still think he is a sort of cool uh, dude. I think he's handsome in his own way. I think that he has got a very distinctive face. And um, I still think that he is definitely uh, a handsome boy. But I think he's definitely got a distinctive kind of look about him. I don't know. I haven't had many of my sims look like him. Which is good. Because you you want to kind of have a bit of variety in your lights plays in your families and things like that so it'd be good to kind of have this um <laughs> have this with him but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to his makeover I quite like that in him I actually do think that that suits him quite well uh, but I know that's a kind of older man's hat, so I don't know if it quite fits a teen but it does fit him quite well so I will be right back 
All right, guys, and here is the made over Seth. So I've just given him a beanie, but I've made it a sort of darker beanie. And uh, we've went for this top. This is one of my absolute favourite tops. It has been for a long time. And I think it just suits his cool, casual look really well. I've put some jeans on with some chains and stuff hanging because I thought it would suit him well. For his formal wear, he's wearing a, <laughs> a tux t shirt with some leather tuna trousers and some boots. I think with him if you go to prom with him you kind of know what you're kind of getting and um, for the sleepwear we've got the cat top with it hanging down the back with his athletic wear we have just got uh, this number he's really quite muscly is seth really quite muscly as you can see here he's got like a two four six like an eight pack and for his outerwear we have um this so that is the episode we ran out of time and we're actually over on our time. But I hope that you did enjoy it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the triplets age up and everything like that. As always, leave me some suggestions in the comments. I know that you guys had said, like I say, Cameron hasn't done much yet. Obviously, we've done some stuff with Seth and Millie and uh, we kind of know where we're going with them. I'd be interested to find out, because Cameron is the next heir, where do you see his story? Uh, what's your thoughts on him? Do you think he'd be a good playboy? You know, is that something that you would think would be good for him? Do you think that, you know, it would be Seth as the playboy? Personally, I see Seth as the playboy, but I also don't want the next generation to be that Cameron just settles down, gets married, blah, blah, blah. We carry on. So it'd be quite nice to see... Um, some ideas and things from you guys so please leave a like on this video as well because it really does help i know i say this to you all the time if you're on a mobile device you can still leave the like it should be somewhere under the video and comments are also was welcome as well but i love you all very very much and i hope you have an amazing day whatever you're up to and i'll talk to you in my very next video bye guys